Before we start, check out the Galactic $500 giveaway on the channel. FBI Seattle Director, Routine Flying Discs Cited by Tacoma, Washington, SMX, Rehurdle Instant Date Please be advised that, Redacted, did not admit to, Redacted, that his story was a hoax, but only stated that if questioned by authorities he was going to say it was a hoax because he did not want any further trouble over the matter. Complete report now en route to Bureau AMSD, which indicates probably, Redacted, made the anonymous phone call in the hope of building up their story through publicity to a point where they could make a profitable deal with Fantasy Magazine, Chicago, Illinois. Redacted, will not, be re-interviewed unless advised to the contrary by the Bureau. Wilcox. A. And hold please. Flying Discs the Bureau, at the request of the Army Air Force's intelligence, has agreed to cooperate in the investigation of Flying Discs. The Air Forces have confidentially advised that it is possible to release three or more discs in odd numbers, attached together by a wire from an airplane in high altitudes and that these discs would obtain tremendous speed in their descent and would descend to the earth in an arc. The Army Air Force's intelligence has also indicated some concern that the reported sightings might have been made by subversive individuals for the purpose creating a mass hysteria. July 30, 47 Bureau Bulletin No. 42 Series, 1947 you should investigate each instance which is brought to your attention of a sighting of a flying disc in order to ascertain whether or not is is a bona fide sighting, an imaginary one, or a prank. You should also bear in mind that individuals might report seeing flying discs for various reasons. It is conceivable that an individual might be desirous of seeking personal publicity, causing hysteria, or playing a prank. The Bureau should be notified immediately by teletype of all reported sightings and the results of your inquiries. In instances where the report appears to have merit, the teletype should be followed by a letter to the Bureau containing in detail the results of your inquiries. The Army Air Forces have assured the Bureau complete cooperating in these matters and in any instances where they fail to make information available to you or make the recovered disks available for your examination, it should promptly be brought to the attention of the Bureau. Any information you develop in connection with these discs should be promptly brought to the attention of the Army through your usual liaison channels. July 10, 1947 Darlington, South Carolina Dear, Redacted I wish to acknowledge receipt of your Western Union telegram dated July 6, 1947. Your interest in bringing this information to attention is greatly appreciated. Inasmuch as the contents of your telegram appear to be of interest to the War Department only, I have taken the liberty of turning this information over to that department. Sincerely yours, John Edgar Hoover Director C.C. Savannah Note, the telegram referred to flying discs. Mr. J. Edgar Hoover, Washington, D.C. Dear Mr. Hoover, the enclosed came to my husband yesterday. After reading it aloud to the family, as a good example of crackpotism, advertising, or what have you, he threw it into the wastebasket. I retrieved it, thinking it might better go into your wastebasket than ours, examined by your department en route thither, as of possible value. I presume several thousand have been mailed, and you may receive numberless duplicates. I will risk that. As an economist at Columbia University receives many strange missives. This is as strange a one as has come for some time, and very appropriate to the present moment. Sincerely yours, Redacted. July 17, 1947. Home address, Redacted, Westport, Connecticut. Washington from Boston. Director. Metal fragments observed at West Ridge, New Hampshire, July 7, 47, Security Matter X, Redacted, Security Officer, M. I. T. Cambridge, Massachusetts, advised that today he was in contact with one, redacted, of West Ringe, H. Ish, a retired, redacted, of the New England Tell, and Tell.co. Redacted, advised that, at approximately 3 p.m. on July 7 last several people sitting on a porch observed of the lawn of, redacted, root, redacted, West Ringe, N.K., little puffs of smoke, which on inspection disclosed small burn spots about one and a half inches in diameter on the green lawn. 
also in the long grass on both sides of road in a circle approximately 200 feet in diameter several little blazes had started and the fire department was called. Fires were apparently caused by metallic fragmentations which were turned over to, redacted, of M.I.T, by A, redacted, of the telephone company. Redacted has advised that their general appearance are similar to the lining of V-2 bombs, which he had observed at New Mexico. Professor, redacted, out of Tallergist at M. I.T, stated that they are possibly the engine from a jet turboplane. At present time he is in process of analyzing two of these pieces. These scientists, in roughly reconstructing the metallic objects, stated they are approximately 14 inches in diameter and sixtenths of an inch thick, machine-tooled, and some fragments indicated they were burned and appeared to have been subjected to terrific heat. These scientists are treating this matter as classified information. MR redacted, at West Ringe, HHIS also endeavoring to collect additional fragments and has stated, that the fire chief at West Ringe has also several fragments in his possession. Redacted indicated that the redacted residence is 7 to 800 feet east of the railroad tracks. Redacted stated he will make the results of M.I.T research available if significant opinions of scientists AS set forth above suggest possible military interest. Military authorities at Boston have not been notified. SOUCY. Hold.